Another Minecraft video, and today we're of course on the Redstone series world. And there is something big behind me. Well, I'm really bad at building, so I'm not the best, so don't think about how it's built, but what's inside it. Today I'm going to be showing you a new redstone contraption that came up, which is a diagonally opening door in the wall that you need to double authenticate, like I call it, because you need to add two passwords and in the correct order. So, I'm going to take out some paper and a tripwire hook and rename them to my password. Well, the password is going to be again Dragonstar. Dragon star. The password could be any, and then the super hook is there is key, and it can be named anything you want, and it can be any items, not paper and two pairs. First thing, I'm going to show you what happens if you throw a wrong item, which is a piece of dirt. Nothing should happen here. Then. I'm going to show you what, and then I'm going to show when it opens. I'm going to throw first the dragon star, and then when you hear a clicking noise, I don't know if you can hear it, guys, you can so throw the key in. So when you throw the key, then the door should now open. It takes a few moments because it's a double authenticator, and then you can come in, you have a button here, that when you press, the door is going too close, pretty fast. And I think you need to see this thing. I don't know how to remove it. And then you can press this again. And it's going to open it. And then you can, from here, you can press the button again. And the door is going to close. And there it's your secret room. And this is how it works. Let me come into spectator mode. As you can see here, first we have a minecart hopper below this block, sucking out, sucking the keys through, and taking them through this hopper line into this chest, if they're the wrong item. You see the dirt here. Then, if it's the correct password, it's going to come through here, come into the chest here. When it passes, it's going to give a signal out to power this tip flop. So as you can see here, there is a redstone torch here, and this is unpowered. So when the redstone torch... Let me come into creative mode. When the redstone torch comes here, it's going to block this hopper, so it can't sack the item. That's why you need to do it in order. First the paper, and then the tripwire, because otherwise the tripwire is just going to pass through here. And then you have... So you have this in here now, because when the item passed here, it powered this tip flop and the item came in here. Where well, they're clear. Then when it powers this, it's going to all, all, as well power this repeater and this repeater powering this tip flop. Flip flop or tip flop, uh, I don't know. Which then removes the torch from here. It, the torch now should be in here, as you can see. It could be any item, even a dirt block. Item is going to come in here, like that. Power this comparator and power this torch. But the line is going to still be on because there is a redstone torch here. Then, when the key passes through here, a second after you hear that noise there, it's going to come here because this is going to be unblocked. It's going to come down, put it into the chest here, as you can see key. Then it's going to give out a signal when the item passes through here, powering this this tip flop, flip flop, which then gives an item here from here and to, into this dropper, powering that and powering that redstone torch and powering this redstone line, which empower the torch which is down here, comes all the way up here, and then it's going to unpower this torch, and this torch. And then it's going to retract the pistons. The design is con consists of the double authenticator sorting system. It could become a triple one. Just then you need, when an item passes through here, to unblock another flip-flop 
to unpower to unblock the next hopper. And then you have the doors. So this is a two-part design. And now let's jump into the tutorial. So we'll need six sticky pistons, around 72 redstone, 16 hoppers, one rail, one minecart with hopper, a few chests, the minimal is three. You may need more if you want to expand the storage for the keys and maybe that in front of the door. Then seven redstone comparators, 14 redstone repeaters, nine droppers, seven redstone torches, and a lot of building blocks. So, the first thing that you want to do is dig out an area that is six blocks deep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine blocks wide. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then 20 blocks wide. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Come here and we come two blocks away with air. So the first thing that you're going to do is to discover where you're going to place your minecart with hopper. So take out your blocks and mark the position you're going to add the minecart hopper. So I want the minecart hopper to be under this block, this block here. Then come to the other side of your trench. There should be two blocks here. Here's where you're going to be placing your chest. If you're going to have a double chest, you are going to have it. It's going to be like that. Or for the trail, you're going to have a single chest. So you're going to be, if you had an extra area around, you're going to, it's going to be like this. Then we take our hoppers and we make a line of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and this should be seven. You should crouch when placing them so they funnel into each other. Then you come here, place your rail on top of the last hopper beneath your block. And then you place your minecart mine with a hopper. Then we are going to be create now and now we are going to be creating the double authenticator. So after the third hopper here is going to be the place where we are going to be taking where the sorting system is going to be. So take your blocks of choice. Let's remove all of this. Count one, two, three blocks. And here is going to be your chest. So this is going to be the hopper that has all of the, the password. Here is going to take out one block when it passes and so on. We want the chest next to the wall, like that. We place a hopper, break this block, place a hopper, break this block, place a block on top of that hopper, temporary, place a hopper funneling into this. And I'm going to have this shape here. Be aware that this hopper should be facing outwards and not into the hopper. Then also one block away fr from this hopper, we're going to be creating the second. So we add again a chest, a hopper and a hopper, temporary block there and a hopper again. So there should be a one block gap. Then you take out your blocks of choice, come place them like this here and place your redstone comparator on this side. Later we're going to be configuring, configuring this. So you want to add more blocks, dig out in your wall, one block down, like that, and break that block there. So you place a redstone to dust, one more redstone dust, two redstone dusts here, dig out here and place a comparator, 
with a one tick delay and the same here with a one tick delay and now we have the sorting system almost complete we need to take our, out our redstone torches and place them like that here and now the both of the doors are done before we continue to the next step I forgot to say that the hopper should be like that here should be the chest to the side not on top like that so you have space to block this hopper then we take plug next to the chest we add a comparator this can be a floor layer it's, it's not necessary to be six blocks deep it's just at the maximum for this repeater here it can be five so you don't have to place any extra blocks and we place a redstone torch a redstone dust a repeater funneling into a block and of course a redstone repeater here and then for the future we're also going to have a redstone repeater here and now this redstone repeater are going to be funneling into the flip-flop or the tip tip flop I don't know how you call them then we take our droppers place a block and if I remember correctly you need to do this funneling into the hoppers then one dropper facing upwards dropper here we're going to have a comparator then f then we come place blocks here a repeater funneling into this one two three at max tick delay a block and a redstone dust then we also want a repeater over here And then we're going to place a block, a comparator, a repeater on max tick delay, a block on the repeater, and then we're going to be creating the redstone line that is going to, um, when the block passes through here, power another tip flop like this one. So we have one, two, three, four, one left, one more, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9 and this is going to be going one block up like that here then we also want a block here for the next tip flop actually what I meant you need to have 8 here so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then to the side you're going to have the ninth, a repeater and then a tip flop like this one here so we have this to the side, this up, this like that, and a hopper. Then we're also going to have this here with again a tip flop. One, two, three, and four. And now you should be out of droppers. <coughs> then we want comparators here and a comparator here. And then when you have a repeater here that we had, we place a block here and the hopper should be funneling in that direction. So I think we have this up. No, wait a second, let me place a dropper like that, then another one up, one to the side and one hopper this and then you have the redstone comparator. <coughs> You have now all of the 3 tip flops with no more 
droppers in your inventory. If you are playing in survival, of course. Then, after this, you are going to have like a, a redstone torch here. Place a block on the comparator. <coughs> Another redstone torch here. We have this, a block on top of the redstone torch. And you're going to have one, two, three, four, and five. And then from here, the redstone line is going to be going upwards to the door. Then we have a block on here next to the this, and we have a redstone torch and a block on top that we're going to be funneling up to the surface. Down here, so we place one, two, three blocks. Why are there bats spawning all the time? What? How did I hit it? One, two, three redstone. One block up. Two blocks up. And then uh, three blocks up. No, sorry. And we come diagonally here. And actually, if we do this, we're going to power it. So three blocks. I was right. We come over here so we don't touch the redstone torch. And then we come down and then down and then we dig into the wall and again down one two three like that then we want to come over here place a repeater next to the block we also want a redstone dust Place a block so it doesn't connect to this line. And then we want to bring it over here to us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like that. So when we press a button, we can bring it back to the normal state. Then one redstone torch here, dust, I mean, to here, here, and here. Here will come one, two redstone. And a repeater and from here where we had this repeater here we want to go to the surface like that here and like that here here and here and now here is where we are going to be building our door so we first raise this one block then I'm going for now to be using stone just for everything. Stone. And I forgot to mention that you're going to need a button. So let me grab a button. It can be any time, but I suggest you use a wooden one if you are in a cave. So you can see. So when you press that, it's going to reverse and bring everything back to the normal state. Then we want one, two, three, four, 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 five, six redstone dust. Actually, what I want to say is five. One, two, three, four, five. One block up. So at the six block, we come one up. And here we're going to have our repeaters. Funneling into a block with a redstone torch and a block on top of it then we take our pistons two three give me my stone like that and we can cover this up as well on the sides then here is going to be where the door opens so two blocks away from this part we're going to be placing our Last three pistons. Three, one, two, three. I want to have this area to walk through. No, like that. And actually, don't block this so you can press the button. Like that. 
Then we come to the back of the pistons, place a block here and here to power all of them. A repeater into that. And now is the part where you have to go above the cave. So I'm going to have a wall like that, a roof. I'm going to make this diagonal because I want, why not? Then I want it to come diagonal here. However you like it, you can of course hide it even better if you want. But the thing that we want is when this isn't powered, we can walk through. Then we come a few blocks up and here is where the redstone is going to vary because it depending on how high you're making your roof. And when you come here, one, two, three, four, five, don't connect to there like that, like that, and like that. And now that piston is also connected. You can, this is, is going to be your wall. It's not necessary to be orange wool because if, if this is going to be your roof, and most likely if you're building this in a cave, there should be nothing showing that this is a base. Of course, if it's your base and no one knows about it, it's whatever you do, it's fine. And then here is most likely going to be a wall as well. So no one sees that you ha there is a base here. And you have the door functioning. Now that I'm thinking about it, this wall should be one back. And go go back and fix this, you need to have it one block higher. I'm sorry guys. I'm also a human, I also make mistakes. And then here we need, everything needs to be one block raised. Like that. Like that. This. 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 Okay, and you can have it like that, and then the, this is how it was normally. Now it's going to be one block raised, so still going to work because the signal is going into that block and that repeater gets, knows that. Actually, okay, spectator back here, and we are done with the button and with the, everything on top having this done then we also wanted to add an item into these droppers and it should be over here so now the door is closed so let me take my stone to show that the door is closed so the item should be in here. It could be any type of item. Where is it? In the bottom dropper. Here. Then, here as well. And then here as well. Like that. And this is it. This is the whole redstone creation. And now it's time that we are going to configure this. What I mean by that is that you prepare your keys. So take a stack of any type of block. To be more precise, you are going to be needing 40 of this. So let me come here and then add a few. Eight. I'm going to have 40. Take an anvil. And then you, here is where you decide what key you want. I'm going to be using a paper. I'm going to be needing two at least to lock. And one more, three. 
And then what is your second item? For me it's going to be a tripwire hook, again three. When unlocking the door you're going to need one of each item. Only one paper and one tripwire hook, depending on the name. You take your cobblestone, rename it to a random string of characters. One, two, three, four, five, ten. And we do that again, we add something. Then we take 10 out, and then we add something more, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, command A, erase that, okay, something more, and you're going to have this. Then we're going to take our password, I'm going to type Mr. Carving, like that, and always I'm going to have a copy of this. Tripwire hook I'm going to name Secret Key. I'm going to have a copy of that as well. Then you come to the hoppers, to this hopper here, put five blocks of each in the four slots and nope. And then what is going to be your first? You want to first the password or the key or any item. I'm going to have the password. Three in it. You're going to have one here. This is fine. This is totally fine. And two here. And we come the here as well. We add this in. Nope. Like that. Secret key. There's going to be one in this hopper here. And now we have configured it. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed this dressing tutorial. This video lo took an awful long time to be recorded and edited, so that's why there haven't been a lot of uploads. But even if that, the video is now live. Yeah, because if you're watching it, it's of course live. And I would like to thank you for watching this, and I'll see you next time in another... Minecraft video, most likely. 90% I'm going to see a Minecraft video.